Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and today I'm doing your weekly readings for the week of August 24th, 2015. This reading is for Sagittarius. Before I start, please let me say thank you for all the support you're giving me with your likes and shares and subscriptions and all your comments. Thank you to those of you who've had private readings with me. I appreciate the opportunity you gave me to provide insight for you. Please remember that these are general readings and so they may not apply to all of you watching. Um, please take what resonates and if you'd like a private reading specific to you, please email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with all the information you need about my readings and how to schedule one. Okay, so it looks like a big week of transformation for you Sagittarius, mostly in your finances. So, <clears throat> let's get started. On Monday, you have the Nine of Pentacles with Disperato per Gelosia. So what this tells me is that on Monday, you are enjoying everything you are receiving. You're receiving rewards for all your hard work. The Nine of Pentacles is the card of the self-made man or woman. So it's telling me that on this day, everything you have been working hard towards is now flourishing, is now providing results. Um, it's bringing you rewards, mostly financial. This is a day where you feel very proud of everything you've accomplished. A day where you celebrate yourself and um, everything you have gained. It's a day where you could be giving yourself you could be giving yourself a gift. You could be um, buying some things, um, focusing on the luxury in your life. Um, buying things for yourself, buying things for your home, improving um, the way you look, your wardrobe. It's a day when finances are getting better, money is coming into you, um, rewards are coming in for you. and you are celebrating all your hard work. On Tuesday, you have the High Priestess with Bambino. So for some of you, you're starting something new on Tuesday. You're starting a new project. It's something you've been thinking about for a while. It's something you have been preparing. It's something you've been nurturing, gathering information, gathering knowledge, and now you're finally at the point where you can um, put it in motion, um, make it concrete, materialize it. The thoughts become an actual project. For others, this is news of a child coming in news of a pregnancy if it's not for you it's someone close to you for others this is news of, of um, a partnership beginning in whatever area of your life this applies but it is a balanced partnership it's a well thought out partnership And it's a major arcana card, so it's got long-term consequences. For others, this is you receiving the final piece of information you needed to start whatever you've been thinking of starting. Whether it's in your love life, your financial life, or your family life. 
On Wednesday, you have the Ace of Pentacles with Stanza. So, for some of you, this is in your finances. You are receiving an offer. You're receiving a job offer, a promotion, um, advancements, a raise, a bonus. This is you starting a new project, you starting a new job. You starting something new that will bring you a lot of prosperity and security and stability to your life. For others, this is in your love life. This could be, it's whatever kind of offer in your love life. It could be you being offered to start a relationship, being offered to move in th together for some of you. Um, it could be a proposal for others of you. But I see you having a serious conversation with your partner or your new partner on Wednesday and um, deciding what the next step is for you and going for it or you accepting whatever offer they make to you and it's an offer that um, again has very long-term consequences and will bring stability to your to your life on Thursday you have the world with Morte Okay, so for some of you, you feel complete. For some of you, um, you feel like you have the world in the palm of your hand. You feel like you have everything you could ever wish for, everything you've um, imagined you could have is now uh, in your life. For others, this is a stage ending in your life and a new stage beginning. Again, this could be in your love life, in your financial situation, your job. It is something being completed and the new thing beginning. Okay, so it could be the end of you, um, your life as a single person, now you're moving forward as a couple. It could be the end of a project you've been working on and now you're given a new project. It could be the end of your unemployment and now you're, um, you have a new job. It is a big change of something ending and something new beginning for you. But it's something very positive okay there's no fear involved it's a natural ending and a natural new beginning on friday you have the four of pentacles with donna di servizio okay so for some of you this is you focusing on your resources on Friday, you focusing on what you have, looking at your bank account, looking at what money you have um, raised or saved up this far, uh, and thinking on how you can improve that. For others, this is you um, offering help to a friend or to someone you love who needs it. Um, it could be financial help uh, or it could be just emotional and moral support. For others, you feel like um, you have so much and you would like to give something back and that is why you're looking at who you can help or who you can offer support to. It's a day where you are focusing on what you have, holding on to what you have. It's a day where you're being mindful when it comes to spending. 
It's a day where you are focused on how you can save money as opposed to spending it. And it could be um, more money coming in. On Saturday, you have the chariot with Il Pensiero. So on Saturday, I feel like you are taking charge of your own destiny, you're taking charge of your um, life. You are following your dreams. That's what I'm getting. You are following your dreams. You're making a dream you have into a reality. You are inspired, you are enlightened, you are making things move, you are making things happen for yourself. The chariot is all about progress, it's all about um, movement, it's the end of delays, the end of procrastination, it is you making things happen for yourself, you being in control, you taking charge, you taking the reins. Some of you could be traveling. Some of you could be traveling for work. Some of you could be traveling for your personal projects. Some of you could be traveling to see um, about obtaining backing and support for your project. You could be traveling to meetings. You could be traveling to um, see people who may be able to help you. But you're very much in charge, you're very much in control of your own destiny on Saturday and you're making things happen for yourself. And on Sunday you have Judgment. So another major arcana card with La Nemica. Okay, so the Judgment is all about rebirth. The Judgment is about a new stage. It's about healing or releasing the past and moving forward in a new direction. Um, for some of you I feel like this is um, about forgiveness, about you deciding to forgive someone who's wronged you. For others this is a new direction in your life. This is you making the changes that you need to make. This is you finding your strength, finding your confidence, your drive and determination and bringing new life and a breath of fresh air to um, whatever area of your life you're focusing on, whether it's your love life or your finances or your job, your career. But it's all about looking at yourself, um, at your life, looking at what you're doing, um, is it right, is it wrong, what you could be doing uh, to make it better, how you can improve things. And it's about making that call, making that judgment on what you need to do and then actually following through with it. On, um, on, a, on a whole level, your spiritual advice for the week, you have strength. So strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. Okay, so again, I feel like you are finding your strength this week to heal um, whatever you need to heal and to move forward and progress whatever you are focusing on, whether it's in your love life or your finances or your job or your family life. It's about finding your strength, finding um, your confidence and forgiving whoever you feel you um, have to forgive to heal yourself and to heal that situation so that you can move forward from it. It's a, it's a week where you are very very confident and very driven and very focused on um, doing what's right for you and making things happen for you. Uh, you are going after what you deserve, going after what you think 
uh, is right for you. You're standing up for yourself. You're letting go of whatever no longer serves you. And you're focusing on the future, focusing on what you want and how to make it a reality. Okay, you're very strong this week. Your love and relationship advice, you have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner, inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, so for those of you who are coupled, I feel like you are shifting your focus you are adopting a more playful fun attitude about um in your approach of your relationship and your partner it's about you not focusing so much on the past not focusing so much on what you don't like and finding this new vision and this new attitude and focus on what you do have, what you do love about your partner in your relationship and having some fun, taking it back to the beginning where it's all fun and getting to know each other and enjoying each other, doing things together, spending time together. If this is, um, if you are single, the card is telling you to adopt a more relaxed attitude when it comes to finding someone, when it comes to meeting someone. It's telling you to go out and have some fun, go out and mingle, go out and meet people, start conversations, make things happen for yourself. Don't take yourself so seriously, just go out and have fun. And when you do that and you let your guard down and you find um, a playful attitude uh, and a playful approach to it, um, that's when you may potentially meet someone who is like-minded. Okay, so it's all about going out and having fun this week. Go out with your friends. Let your friends set you up if they're asking you to. And just, just go with it and have a fun week. Okay, so that is what I see for you, Sagittarius, for the week of August 24th, 2015. Please like, share, subscribe and comment and let me know how these cards play out for you specifically. I love hearing from you. Thank you again for all your wonderful support. I truly appreciate it. I hope you have enjoyed your reading and I hope you have a wonderful week. And I will see you again next week. Okay, thank you for being here. Take care.